Hey guys, Steve here at SKS Props, and today we're going to start a new video series on my next big cosplay, a Warhammer 40k Tech Priest. Hey guys, welcome to the shop. This is video number one in our Warhammer 40k Tech Priest series. This video will be primarily based around the power axe that my character will be wielding at the conventions. Uh, for those that don't know, before I got into cosplay, I used to paint miniatures all the time. That's actually how I made money in college. So I've done a ton of Warhammer miniatures back in the day, and it just it, it seems fitting that I finally make a cosplay based off of one of these characters. I decided to go with the Tech Priest because I love how much detail you can put into the characters. And of course, I've done a ton of research on Google uh, by downloading concept art and illustrations. I even went and I purchased one of the Games Workshop Tech Priest Engine Seer miniatures just so I'd have a 3D representation of the character I'm going to be making. One other thing before we get started, I want to give a shout out to TNT Cosplay Supply. Uh, that is primarily the foam that I'm going to be using on this entire build. And if you guys have not checked them out, their website was just updated with a whole bunch of new products. So some of the stuff that I'm excited to try out are these new foam dowels that are now in the 24 inch length. They've got them in all kinds of different diameters. and two inch thick high density foam. This is gonna be the primary base for the power axe that I'm gonna be building. So of course, check out TNT Cosplay Supply. I will have a link down in the description. The first thing that we're gonna do is start templating all the parts and pieces that are gonna make up the power axe. Now to do that, I prefer to use Bristol board. And you can get this stuff from Amazon or Hobby Lobby. Uh, the reason that I'm a big fan of Bristol board is it's not that expensive, but the paper itself is pretty thick and so it stands up well on its own. You don't have to have additional supports on that. So let's get started.
right, guys, I think that'll do it for this video, part one of our Warhammer 40K Tech Priest Power Axe. We got some cogs made up, we got the Mars skull on here, and I started to detail it using some furniture tacks along the exterior. Next time I'm going to be working on the power box that goes back here on the back, a vise that sits off to the side of that, and we're going to be working on the handle. And the handle is going to be really important because I want to show how it breaks down for easy transportation. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And be sure to tune in next week as I work further on this Warhammer 40k Tech Priest build. Thanks very much for stopping by.